Hi guys and welcome to a new series of uh, videos that I'm going to create and share with you guys. It's about data mining the social media and mining data from social media. So what this uh, videos and series are going to be about is the is how to use the different tools uh, that comes with Python. So in the past few years, the popularity of social media has grown dramatically with more and more users sharing all kinds of information through different platforms. Companies use uh, social media platforms to promote their brands. Professionals maintain a public profile online and use social media for networking and regular users discuss about any topic. More users also means more data waiting to be mined. So you who are watching the, these uh, videos are likely to be a developer, engineer, analyst, researcher, or a student who want to apply data mining techniques to social media data. As a data mining practitioner, there is no lack of opportunities and challenges from this point of view. So, in these uh, tutorials, I will try to give you the basic tools you need to take advantage of this wealth of data on social media. And this series will start a journey through the main tools for data analysis in Python, providing the information you need to get started with applications such as NLP, machine learning, social media network social network analysis and data visualization and we'll try to make a step-by-step -step guide through the most popular social media platforms including twitter facebook google plus stack overflow blogger youtube and more and it will allow you to understand how to access data from these networks and how to perform different types of analysis in order to extract useful insights from the raw data. And there are three main aspects that we are going to touch upon throughout this uh, series, video series and tutorial. And the first one is social media APIs. Each platform provides access to the data in, uh, in different ways. Understanding how to interact with, with them can answer the question, how do we get the data? And also what kind of data can we get? This is important because without access to the data, there would be no data analysis to carry out. Each chapter focuses on different social media platforms and provides details on how to interact with the relevant API. And the next thing that we will cover is, uh, or the main aspect of, of these uh, video tutorials are data mining techniques. So just getting the data out of an API doesn't provide much value to us. The next step is answering the question, what can we do with the data? and each area of these video tutorials provides the concepts that you will need to appreciate that you need to appreciate the kind of analysis that you can carry out with the data and why it provides value in terms of of theory the choice is uh, to simply scratch the surface of what is needed without digging too much into details um, and and that actually belongs to the academic textbooks. So the purpose in this video tutorials is to provide practical example that can get you easily started. And the next main uh, aspect is uh, to talk about Python tools for data science. So once we understand what we can do with the data, the last question, how do we do it? Python has established itself as one of the main languages for data science. It's easy to understand syntax and uh, semantics, together with its rich ecosystem for scientific computing. 
provide a gentle learning curve for beginners and all the sharp tools required by experts at the same time. So this tutorial introduces the main Python library, libraries used in the world of scientific computing such as NumPy, Pandas, NetworkX, Scikit-learn, NLTK and many more. Practical examples will take the form of short scripts that you can use and possibly extend to perform different and interesting types of analysis over the social media data that you have accessed. So if exploring the area where these three main topics meet is something of interest, then, uh, then these video tutorials are for you. So what do you need uh, for this tutorial? The requirements are to have at least Python 3.4 or, or newer. That's recommended. We'll go over the more um, more of the requirements in one of the coming videos but and we will provide some instructions to how set up a local development environment and introduce a brief list of tools that are going to be used throughout the series so just for short we are going to take advantage of some of the essential python libraries for scientific computing for example numpy pandas and matplot lib machine learning uh, libraries for example skykit learn and uh, nlp natural language processing for example nltk and social network analysis tool which is network x in python so um, this is the short intro and uh, i will see you in the next video